Welcome to Scumcast. <laughs> the green shirt. Oh, Jesus, that was bad. <laughs> Hello, right. boys and girls. I don't know what episode this is anymore because, you know, we're just putting these bad eight. boys out way too much. Eight? Eight. Jesus Christ. We've been around for eight episodes. That's not saying much. But and we've had like two to four iterations of each episode. We have, yeah. We're separated because, unfortunately, you know, attention spans, you know. Yep. Like, you know, like that. Like, what are we doing? We're you doing know. a podcast. Exactly. <laughs> I think. Um, so today, our, our guest today, well, I mean, Eddie's not a guest. Not He's a, just kind of like a, a, he just shows up I'm here like a stand-in member. Yeah. I'm like, I, I I go on my call whenever I want to come on here. Oh, you know about I'm being on call. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so our real guest here is um, Jay Beans. Hey. And uh, he actually, his name is Jay Beans, but he goes by Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> legally, though, Jay Beans for sure. Yeah. So Jay Beans is his actual official name, and we're going to talk about his name for 30 minutes straight. Right, birth certificate. So Jay is it like that beans. baked beans on toast type <clears throat> deal? You disrespecting me right now? Yeah, why are you disrespecting That was a question, you, sir. You, I, I, I can't disrespect you for asking beans a question. Baked beans on toast? That's my mom's name. <laughs> <laughs> Baked beans on toast. Is that what you? <laughs> God damn it! Oh, this is how this episode What's your dad's goes. Name? All right, ball. Let's play ball. What is your dad's name? <laughs> it's 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 refried not, beans it's not on J- it's tacos. Refried, my dad's no, re- name is refried James. bean espresso. Oh, just my James. dad's name is James. James. Okay. <laughs> just James. No last name. Just James. His middle name is Beans. Oh, <laughs> something with that with your family and beans, man. I'm James What's... Beans Jr. J Beans Jr. Now J, JBJ. I, I did hear your rapper name though was Non Beans. Nope. <laughs> no, not 100. It's, it's no Beans. You were close to it. Oh, it's nonsense. That's nonsense. Yeah, it's got to be Non Beans. Well, it would be. We've already had this conversation about beans, bud. You're already digging that hole. Let's go. Non beans. Well. All right. Uh, no, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're, so you're gonna start really... off. You're gonna write an EP as nonsense, right? Yeah. Then you're gonna fake your own death. Come back as non beans. Okay. All right. And you're gonna I blow like the fuck up going. and be bigger than Post Malone. Yep. I bl- <laughs> All right. It's we're locked off. in now. I gotta do it's it. It's locked in. We're really ruining now. We this gotta delete reputation. this podcast so that never comes out, <laughs> so people don't know that I faked my death. I'm pretty sure we're capable of ruining everybody's reputation by being on this podcast. <laughs> well. I didn't have a reputation to start with, so it's only up from here. <laughs> I'm making one right now, boys. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I can grab a shovel. I don't know, man. I, a, I don't know, Trademark. man. That's my uh, project. We're not going to talk about that because I hate it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, that's my favorite I was, one. I was about to say, like, that's you've been jamming name. fucking pop punk forever, and you have, like, what, like, two new demos going on right now? Hell yeah, brother. Is it two? Got, Wait, you just have that yeah, one. Yeah, brother. And then uh-huh. you have oh, then then you also have that other song for intoxication coming, which I'm, I'm very a lot excited of songs. about. It's gonna be very gumbally. Oh, what gumbally? the fuck? Does that mean? Okay, you were telling me about that when we were listening to Void like, earlier. What the fuck does that so mean? What does you, that mean? When you think of like gumballs and stuff in like with music, it just makes it feel very poppy. You're gonna have to explain this to me further. They're colorful and they pop. Okay, I, I, okay, yeah, they, yeah, because they and are kind of, like, they have a bit of a poppy feel. And when you say awesome gumball, you just, you just can't help but have a smile on your face when you say gumball. Wait, what did you call it? A gumball? Gumball-y. Yeah, like, like gumball-y. Okay, like using so gumball I've never adjectives. heard that term, but the term I have heard is bubble gum. It's like when I like said death Corey pop. earlier, and oh, then that's Ronnie was just like, <laughs> death Corey. <laughs> so you made your, your own version of <laughs> bubble gum yeah. pop, basically. Basically. Alright. So anyways, Ronnie. Yeah. What do you like doing? You you what what is this nonsense project all about? Uh I rap uh Oh well wow. join uh, the club. I, I do <laughs> I do I do the hippity hop. I'm the, the only one who doesn't rap out of the four of us. <laughs> <laughs> I just write your guys' shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I rap. I, I've been writing since probably like like fourteen or fifteen, like seriously. Okay. And so like it, it, there's been like a general like climb because back then it was just bullshit 
as as anybody starts, I feel like it's kind of just bullshit at first. Usually, not me. No, well, I mean you no. were just legitimate off rip. These I mean, songs were made when I was like six for Forsaken Scum. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you were on some. You were on some. I made them all on acoustic. Shit. You're built different, bro. I, I'm autistic. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing, I think, the cool Canceled. thing about music is <laughs> the what you just explained right there. What you just explained right there about when you're first starting out, it's all just bullshit. It's pretty cool because even now, even now, you can still bullshit on tracks and stuff. Like, you always have to have that balance. Even <laughs> yeah. with us, like, yeah. we do that too. So it's like, when you first start, you still do that the whole time. Like, Facts. you have to find time to bullshit and have fun with your shit. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's why, like, a lot of the times, like, I'll write, like, serious shit and sad boy shit. But then there's times when you got to write that dumbass fucking song that just yeah. makes you feel good and makes you laugh to write like hey, I do like writing actually those. I have a question for the three of you and as your not only as your producer but are you guys you know, should I get like one of those like DJ boards and like be your guys' DJ on stage if for like running your guys' if traction that's shit what you cause do. I don't think it would look stupid if we ran it off of a fucking phone yeah that would but probably not be the best way to go about it you can it. run it off of a phone and then get a fake DJ set up and act like you're doing things oh just like in a uh, uh, pop star <laughs> yeah <laughs> or uh, no actually in pop star he got all the like legitimate equipment and then it was just like yeah I got all this set up da 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 it's like and so, like, you use all this for you know, for his music? Oh, no, we just run it off this iPod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have an iPod shuffle. It's so, like, which track? It's like me showing up with all $4,000 of my drum equipment and then, you know, just basically being like, oh, yeah, we use a drum machine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I got a horror story for you guys. A horror, horror story? story. A story no, about horror story. I still, about, I still have a question story. for Ronnie. No, hold on, hold on. I have a, I have a horror, for... horror story about this topic. Remember the about question. About the whole phone thing. No. Yeah, remember your question. No, sorry. <laughs> someone, no. Gave, someone calls you in the middle of a song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to say any names, but there was one time I went to yeah, a show. Yeah, please don't. Uh, there was this one time I went to this show, and one of the local uh, artists, he was a rapper, uh, came out. Well, was supposed to come out. And the thing is, is they brought their phone, and their flown, phone had their tracks on it. That's what they were playing their tracks to, like you were saying. Okay, what And happened? the phone died. No. Oh. Oh, dude, I always have fucking nightmares about that with my laptop whenever yeah. I'm either on stage with you guys or Dead Echo. Oh, my fucking God. But it was, like, embarrassing as hell. Like, we, they went out there, and they started, like, their intro. They didn't even get into the first song yet. It was, like, an intro, like, beat, hyping up everybody. They come out, and they're all getting the crowd hyped and stuff. And, uh... Then the phone died. And then, oh my god! <laughs> and okay. for like a good fifteen a minutes, fucking like, nightmare. Yeah, that is for a, a good fifteen nightmare. minutes, they were trying to figure out what to do and stuff. It was crazy. Oh, dude, that's it. That was like my god. That's either like three fourths your set or even half, depending yeah. on how long you had. Mm. They bust out the MP3 player. Well, it's funny that you say that because I kind of had this happen at like the lot, not the last Dead Echo practice, but the one before that. <clears throat> I so like we go to those one of those practice spaces like they already have a kit set up so all I really need to bring is like you know my pedal my sticks and my cymbals right so we did that I was headed up there and I get there I'm trying to set up my triggers and everything like that because I already have a PA in the practice space and I was setting on my laptop and everything right so not only did my laptop die halfway through that practice there was a cord fucking up and I couldn't hear and I couldn't get my triggers to work and my in ears fucked up all at the same time. Yeesh. I was so fucking pissed. So I have nightmares of that happening on stage. Cause that actually did happen to me like way back. Like probably about like four turn fourteen, fifteen. Over at a pub rock and a sold out show. Oof. I think I told you guys this story, haven't I? Mm. Yeah. Oh buddy, that was bad. <laughs> I feel like man. I feel like as a rapper, that situation is a lot more workable because you can just like acapella your entire set because at the end of the day, it's like I feel like you should have like several can, phones yeah. ready to go. I got. You should I, definitely have a backup plan. A backup phone. Oh man, both. Boy, why do I you got think a story I, why for you? you think I keep <laughs> Another story. <laughs> why do you think I keep our backtracks on our Google Drive? <laughs> yeah, uh, I told this story to somebody here. I might have told you already, Ronnie. I'm not sure, but it follows the same thing. 
For rappers, <clears throat> it does get tough at times, though. When I went to Warp Tour, Futuristic was on it. Oh, and, shit, he was? Yeah, nice. and uh, the Arizona date, he missed the entire set because their laptop overheated. Oof. And Sounds like that's definitely something that happens here in Arizona. Yeah, and it was during Warp Tour, so it's outside, it's hot as hell, so it overheated. And they couldn't get it to work, they kept trying and trying, they spent like at least 15, 20 minutes trying it. And the last three minutes, he's like, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to play my set, but I'll do one song acapella. So he did one song acapella, and that was his entire set. Like, I felt so bad. Because that dude, he that's his hometown, is here. Yeah. Arizona. He so. went to McClintock High School. Yeah, so that sucks, man. He yeah. He, why didn't he just put ice over it? <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Worked for me. Just put Jacob, ice on your laptop. Jacob, does some of the things you say really just make my brain Just dump hurt. ice on a laptop. Just It'll hurts. work, guys. Just let the ice preheat in the freezer. God damn it. <laughs> and then put ice onto your laptop, and it'll be fine. Make sure all you kids do that out there. <clears throat> okay. If, if there's any, like, kids <laughs> listening to this, take not. your parents' laptops and put ice over it. <laughs> You'll help them out, trust me. Be responsible for anything See, out of everything he just said in the last ten seconds, that's the least most, ex- least most upsetting thing I've heard him say. <laughs> Buy our merch, too. Use your parents' credit cards. Uh, I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> there we so, go. Bishop. And for, not for V-Bucks, though. So, Bishop, you had a question. You had a question. I did. I had a question for Ronnie's uh, musicianship. Okay. As a rapper. Yeah. And a <clears throat> president of rap. Yeah, that's what they call me. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Beans, a.k.a. president of rap, that's, a.k.a. That's what nonsense. I thought. <laughs> do you ever, like, think about going... Do, do you still have, like, your old songs that you wrote back when you were, like, 14? Uh, You see... I have to remember a lot of them because I've had a lot of different phones and I've had a lot of shitty phones that have fucking died. Okay. And eventually I'm going to have to get those phones fixed. Uh, Just not now. So I, still, I still have the phones just Ooh, like because okay. I'm definitely going to get them fixed because there's a lot of hidden gems on those motherfuckers for Ooh. sure. Yeah, Is there a way I like, extract the data off those phones like while they're dead? I've, because I've, like you could do that with a hard drive on yeah. the computer without it actually working. I've you just take the hard to, drive out. I've tried to figure out ways to like connect things to it and try and get them to go, but it, it really well, hasn't. You're probably going to have to actually like take whatever file storage is out of them. And especially yeah. like I'm assuming they're like Androids. Yeah, if they're Androids, I think that they probably have a decent file system that you can actually extract the data out. Yeah, but uh, so you don't find them like cringy or anything from writing them well, back then. Well, some of them for sure. Oh, okay. Like oh, there's yeah. there's here and there where you'll find like a really solid one that you wrote a while back, and you're like, ooh, okay. Right. And then you'll see the next one, and you're like, ooh, okay. That's that's how I that's how I actually feel scrolling back on my Instagram and seeing all my guitar stuff, and I'm like some of these I'm like oh I don't know about that, and then some of them I get actual ideas for our music today, so. No, I feel that because like, it's kind of crazy because like okay like you know rappers you know you guys, and I'm not and like and I'm not you guys. shitting on anything. Well, you three, you're all rappers. <laughs> You different specimens. You're a different breed. Well, I mean, we're you, all three different like genres of hip hop. Trap metal. What is what is your genre? You said hip hop. Just do hip-hop? everything. And yeah. then you were. I don't know. You're just like trash rap. you're just like a white Hobson. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, like I would not I would say that. that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say that because Hobson spits real facts. Bishop well, is me. facts, yes. Bishop's, facts. Bishop's, Bishop's do you not like, wake up the next day after a hangover well, with the shits? I don't, like, drink, I don't wake well, up after a hangover. I, I'd say <laughs> Bishop is like a watered down little dicky. Yeah, I've been okay. Okay, you I, know what? You know what? I will take the Hobson and Colin back. I agree with that part. Well, not watered down. I'm like down, the though. white little dicky. He, no, you're like the you're like the nerd version of little dicky. Little dicky is you were not a nerd, nerd like in your personality by guy. any means. Well, I was hoping one of you guys would, like, get mad that I said that, but none of you guys did. Shout yeah. out Dave, by the way. Have you guys checked that out at all? Yep. Fucking I amazing. haven't seen the second Still, season yet, because I just seen, don't watch TV I've seen hardly, the whole but... thing, bro. So fucking good. Still didn't correct me on what I said. Well, what did you say? I didn't hear you. I said... <laughs> and I'm, I have everyone in my ears, so... <laughs> I said, I'm the white little dicky. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you guys just like rolled with it like yeah he, he's right I was just like it's just Jacob know. saying bullshit again I don't know my mind's still <laughs> buffering on that one hey man I'll, I'll strive to be a little dicky I don't know man hey he's god damn know, it man. I'll strive to be Tom DeLong for and, I don't know man and then little dicky for the Tom little McDonald. Bitch Tom McDonald Oh, what? that dude? He's act- no, he's actually cool, but like... What the uh, fuck? No. <laughs> I think, no, I will say that. support Tom McDonald in the scum house. Wait, hold on, hold on. Well, okay, well, I must be missing something. What's the problem? Um, no, I'm serious. I have no idea. He's just cringy. He's so cringy. Well, I mean... Well, Corey's cringy. I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with him, but like... Everything he does is like, look at me. I'm fucking politically edgy. Yeah, and that's making his views. Exactly. Problem? Not necessarily, but just like. I mean, hey man, it, it, it seems like clout chasing at its finest. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, is that that's kind of what making music is at this point. Now, I'm kind of like the more I'm like delving into the music industry, I'm kind of figuring that out. It's kind of like it really does suck. And like, believe me, like I'm trying to like write all these like you know great songs with Bishop and shit, and then it's just like, oh, we need to equate it to like some sort of style in order to fit this, in order to get this audience, and then it's like. A lot of like you have to take a lot of that into consideration, especially if you're trying to grow as an artist. Facts. Because like you know Fair you enough. can't, you know you can't write like up and like pull them a sugar, write a fifty like a fifty minute EP or like album, and it'd be one song, and it's just all over the place. Yeah. No one's gonna fucking listen to it, except for fans of Mashuga, and we all know about Mashuga. Is it a 50 minute album with one song? What was that one? It was like, it was like zero. It was like the I or something. That I one. Oh, that one's like yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, it was like 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, no, I exaggerated the fuck out of that. But like fucking death metal free bird. It is. A, That's it what is. it was. <laughs> well, it it is a, typically it is periphery did that with Blood Eagle, I think. Yeah. Was it Blood no, Eagle? it wasn't yeah. Blood Eagle. It was, uh, what was it? It was the last the reptile. song. The, the reptile. The reptile. Okay. It's 14 minutes, Same I album. believe. Okay. Yeah. I think that song is 14 minutes. Yeah. And they played it live and it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how they pull that off. That is some fast picking that they're doing. So instead of Freebird, Metalheads will just scream Reptile. <laughs> instead of Freebird. No, I'm not. Reptile. I'm also Fuck not. Fuck you. you! You guys know me as not being very cultured. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yes, what indeed. is a, I I that saying? Joke. Something. Just, uh, I say it. It's being generous. So <laughs> you are a. Uh, is Freebird a long song? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a long song. I just wanted to so know. So the last the last episode we discovered you don't know who the hell Dio is. Yeah. And now oh, you yeah. don't even know Freebird. I heard it all the time. I hear everyone say that. I just, never, just, peop, just people saying Freebird. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to another episode of Rock History with Jacob Bishop. I'm sorry. I don't know my rock. Hey, man, I mean, Eddie's the perfect person for that. I mean, like, he took rock history in college, so... He did, and I just kind of, like, not listen to him when he talks to me about it. I mean, rock <laughs> history was pretty cool. So was jazz history, honestly. Oh, fuck jazz history. The only good thing about jazz history was you and Riley. No, nah, man, I, I enjoyed the class and what we learned. I mean, it, the, mo- it the, was... majority, the majority of it is basically a moral story of not... Fucking too much. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. There was so much syphilis in the history of jazz. Jesus. So much syphilis. They were like, and yeah. And on top of the, and just the, just the cherry on top. This is what I learned in jazz history. Jazz recorded is not actual jazz. There's no such thing as recorded jazz, because ba- jazz by definition is improv yeah. music. The definition of jazz is spontaneous uh, composition. Well, which syphilis means is spontaneous. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and some would describe it as a composition. You'd I would be scared that. if it was a coordin- if it was coordinated. So, uh, yeah. The crazy thing is, it, well, the funny thing about the whole syphilis is we'd learn about a new artist each class or each week, whatever it was, and each time it'd be da 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 da, died by syphilis. The next person, da 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 da, da also died by syphilis. What, like a da, good da, da, like forty percent like of like the greatest jazz artists out there? They all just died of syphilis because every no one had condoms. It was like the nineteen thirties. Yeah. And back then, well, jazz I don't know was if it actually was the nineteen thirties. Twenty. It was either the tens or twenties. I'm not sure. I can't remember the years. Well, but. it was like that early period it where was like nineteens. Still like. <laughs> 
Like, no, like, you know, any sort of, like, like cleanliness was not a thing. And on top of that, um, jazz was, like, considered ragtime. Mm-hmm. So, like, that... Mm. Guys, just guys out there, I think wa- we're getting wash off your topic dicks. Here. Wash your dicks. Oh, yeah, that's what this podcast wash is. is. Wash your dicks. dishes we get and so wash your dicks. Topic. The topic, the topic there, of this podcast. There is no topic. It's wash, scum cast. No, no, wash your dicks, guys. <laughs> just wash your dicks. Just wash your dicks. Ladies, wash your dicks. Wash your dicks. Wash your dicks, ladies. Oh, baby. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We can say that now. There's, there's... So how about them Broncos? <laughs> and, and when you're cleaning your animals... Wash their dicks, bro. <laughs> it's the just, good thing to do. Wash their dicks. You just gonna let your dog walk around dirty dicked? <laughs> That's not right. Eddie washes uh, his cat's dick. Do you what? wash? Do you I wash Majin's dick? I don't. He cleans himself. Then what? That's true. Cats can clean themselves. Then what were you doing? They kind of deal with that themselves. I think you're thinking about yourself, dude. Sorry, it, talk- it probably, I was the one touching your cat's no, dick. No, it was probably yeah. in your dreams. It wasn't you my know, dream. You have weird dreams. I do have some wild ass dreams, and I am uncomfortable by them when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, dude, you. Have, it you, honestly kind of like you changes. come out with some fucked up shit. It's weird. <laughs> like, do you guys get that when you have dreams and like it, it can affect your day? Yeah, it's like those. And I'm it's pretty like sure it, Ronnie can touch on that topic about dreaming and stuff like that. Ronnie can touch on something. <laughs> oh, you, oh can, baby. you can find out. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it is, see, I I don't know how to feel about that because I do not remember my dreams like at all. Literally, the last dream Good. I rem- <laughs> I do not. The last I remember like feeling weird because like I remember. God damn it! I keep hitting the desk. Um, no, but it was just weird because like the last dream I remember was like. You remember, like, when you die in, like, the arcade, like, mode of Mortal Kombat? You where you, like, fall in a hole, and mm-hmm. then there's spikes at the bottom? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so imagine like the same thing, the ledge. no spikes at the bottom. Oh, so just flat drop. Flat dirt drop. And oh, then so you had I, a falling dream. I had a falling dream. That's as soon rough. as I hit my face on that dirt, I hit my pillow really hard. Yeah. Fall- like, I'm pretty sure my face probably about went about a good two inches into my mattress. Yeah, it was falling, weird. Falling dreams are pretty common. Like, so like, but that this was like years ago, like back in high school years ago. Yeah. And then ever since then, I have not been able to remember a single dream. It's literally like teleporting eight Sounds hours. Sounds like there was huh. a pulty geist in your house, my boy. Sounds like you was floating above your mattress, and when you woke up, you hit the fl- you hit the fucking thing. Can we get the Ghostbusters on this? Because if your face was Cibolia. on shout your pillow, Cibolia. yeah, shout out. To if Cibolia. your face was on your pillow while you were sleeping, why would it drive into the pillow? That is a good point. That is a very good point. I didn't think about that, actually. Okay, well, now I'm just going to re... re not yet. <laughs> Fuck you, Ronnie. God damn it. <laughs> Ghosties. All right, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, my dream. What about your dream? Yeah, what I, Yeah, you've been having some weird fucking dreams lately, bro. What's going on? I don't want to talk about it. You, you just brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, they just get like weirdly sexual, but not sexual. And I wake up with like a, a confused boner. Elaborate and, on that. Okay, so I'll retell this one just for the sake of the podcast. But um, I can't remember. Did I tell you already about Angela wanting to commit suicide in my dream? No. All right. Well, good. <laughs> So, oh god, this has got dark as fuck. Did I tell? Yeah, so it's actually it's not, not. It's not dark at all. I mean, it is, but it's not. Yeah. That's not the. That's not the focal point of the dream. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Explain this further so I can so, understand. I can't remember what was going on beforehand, but um, it somehow led to me going up to Angela in the kitchen, and she bought two toasters, and I'm like, "Well, what are you doing with those toasters?" And <laughs> naturally, <okay>. so <laughs> she was like, um, she couldn't, she was like crying and stuff. And she was telling me she was going to kill herself by bringing two toasters in the bath. And I'm wondering, why do you need two toasters? Why would you need a second one? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she, I was like, maybe she wants to die twice. So <laughs> double the death. Gonna, <laughs> are the toasters going to somehow bring her back to life and then yeah. kill her again? It's, it's like it brings her back to life and then like kills her again. That is just tragic. 
So she was about to. Why would you want to go out? Electroshock therapy. So I went over to tell Eddie. I went over to Eddie to tell him that his girlfriend is about to kill herself. Yeah. And naturally, as any good friend would do. So and uh, we went back over to where she was. She was gone. So then we freaked out. We went upstairs and. I she was in the bathroom ready to pull the toaster in and we're like no don't do that and I don't know why that statement to pull the toaster pull the toaster <laughs> about in. to pull the toaster in pull that toaster hashtag in. pull the toaster in he's gonna kick the bucket he's gonna pull the toaster he's about to pull the toaster <laughs> oh no Ronnie let's not start that hashtag pull the toaster <laughs> hashtag <in>. pull the toaster <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> all right, that, I already know what I'm calling this episode. Oh, man. Pull I already know what I'm calling this episode. Hashtag pull That's the what I, I, I love this conversation. I always love these because we always base the dicks. names off hashtag. of like a weird focal yeah. point in the podcast. Hashtag wash your dicks. Hashtag pull the toaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't play, I can't do wash your dick, but I can definitely do pull the toaster. Wash your toaster, pull your dick. <laughs> Okay, pull your dick in. <laughs> Put your dick in the toaster. Yeah, yes. there you go. <laughs> anyway, continue. Hashtag dick in the so, toaster. So, this bathtub was actually, like, pretty big for some reason. Was it, it mine? No, it was, like, big. Like, we could, like... Like a pool? Wait, wait till I get to how many people were in it. Oh, <laughs> so, we got multiple people? <laughs> so, not yet. This oh, is got, okay, all right, this is really on. interesting. All right, please continue. It went from Angela wanting to kill herself to all of a sudden me and Eddie got naked into the bathtub. Oh. And uh, somehow, you, somehow, you just really want to see his dick, don't you? I was trying, <laughs> and uh, it was not as big as I thought in my dream. Damn. Yeah. No. Oh God. That's how you can tell it's that. a dream. Yeah. Not realistic. <laughs> Eddie's dick isn't as big as as I thought, so I, I guess. I was a little disappointed by that. Maybe that's why I woke up kind of upset. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my ex was in it. And she was in the bathtub as well with Angela, and all of a sudden, me and Eddie were like, "Oh, why aren't the why aren't the girls naked?" So then they started getting naked, and then uh, all of a sudden, the the can I bring up the guy that was in it? I'll just say this guy from a band that we know showed up, and he's the vocalist, and he got naked, and. All of a sudden, Eddie was questioning if we can fit two dicks in a <laughs> mouth, and and it wasn't even like a sexual thing. We just wanted to know if we could fit two dicks in a <laughs> mouth. And what's really odd about that is she 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 doesn't even really care for blowjobs. <laughs> so, and Eddie doesn't even like being naked near me. So like Eddie everything doesn't like being, being near, you. near anybody. Yeah. So like the, this dream is like all sorts of like everything these people aren't. So we ended up trying to do that. God, and we we're, were trying making to, out like this household is like way worse than it actually is. Yeah. This my dreams fucking they suck, be, man. They be fucking in the scum household. So you oh. heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Eddie did that. We put we we're about to put our dicks in a <laughs> mouth. And then all of a sudden, um, it, something happened there, and then S I was like, I just, up, I just want to have sex with you. Up. I have a question. No, a I'm almost done. I'm almost uh, done. All right, I have a question when we're in done. It's, pre it's pretty much done. I just woke up after she said she wanted to have sex with me, and I didn't get any sex in my dream. Okay, questions. So, wait, you were completely okay with rubbing your dick up against Eddie's so, dick in order to put both question. your dicks... In her mouth. That is a good question because I actually questioned him that in the dream. I said, "Are you sure?" Because that sounds my dick, like something you would do. I said, "My dick's going to be touching your dick, Eddie," and he was like, "That's fine." Wow. And it's it's weird We're because you know I can, I can hear Eddie say Eddie like, today. "That's fine." Yeah. So, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, do your parents listen to this podcast? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no I'll one listens to this podcast. Now that I think about it. <laughs> now that you think about it, a booty, a booty, a booty. But yeah, I already told uh, I told everyone that dream so far. I usually like telling everyone that was in my dream those dreams, even if they're like the worst thing possible. I still like telling people it because I think it's funny. I'm like low key upset I wasn't in this. Yeah, you weren't in it for some reason. And of all people, you would have been like the one touching my dick with your dick. So it just Facts. took people that would do not normally do these things like fucking Angela buying two toasters, 
willing to put a her dick, multiple two dicks, penises. multiple dicks in her mouth, and then Eddie just being naked. Like that's not Eddie. Eddie doesn't like being naked. I'm surprised. Do you even have sex naked? <laughs> Are I you know, okay? Man. I don't know, man. Eddie wears I, a full latex suit yeah. with a condom on. Jacob, are you okay? It's I got a know. condom extension. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe... Uh, I just kind of want to imagine you having sex with your clothes on. <laughs> he just wants to imagine Eddie having sex. Eddie, hashtag show your dick, Eddie. <laughs> Not anymore, e- Everybody who listens to this podcast, hashtag Eddie show your dick. <laughs> hashtag Eddie show your dick Hashtag wash your dicks Hashtag pull the toaster Hashtag pull the toaster Those are gonna be our top three songs by Nonsense and Lil Bitch Up yep. Hashtag pull the toaster Hashtag pull the toaster in. I, lo- I love how I left like Eddie and you kind of speechless right now. <laughs> but Ronnie's still rolling. With oh, I'm it. with it, bro. I'm under. I'm I'm here for everything. He's not I'm, over. I'm, it. I'm He's under here. it, man. Hey, man. I'm just the co-host. I'm just the co-host who sets up the session on the fucking doll and just presses play. I and just then I just comment on your guys's bullshit. People need to express themselves. People need to talk about their dreams. Just tell it. Just say it how it was. So you're this went from being a to a therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag tell your dreams. Tell Daddy Bishop your dreams. I will listen. Yo, T- so for Daddy those who are Bishop listening, if y'all have com. some weird fucking dreams that you like to mm, you like to tell us, we always put this shit on YouTube. Comment below. Comment maybe that's below. A, Comment your maybe that's weirdest a new segment fucking we should dream. Have. That it? Well, like ooh. have our guests tell about the weirdest dreams they've had and, ooh, and not, okay. not filter it at all that's, unless it's like extremely racist. Well, let's also blur out their names too. But let's do that. You know, let's do that. But I mean, that'd be a cool YouTube idea. Like, you know, we just basically put out a status being like, hey. Oh, I meant te- for the podcast like segment, like have the guests on. Yeah, and we'll guess- do like a, well, no, like make it also like a you like a YouTube thing. We also just read it off of a laptop. We put it on the video and then be like to basically make that a YouTube segment. And then we'll make songs out of it. Uh, that you, you can do that. You're them. the one who writes the lyrics. <laughs> I just write drums, bud. Those are the songs for a little bit. Chuck. I just write drums and rap beats and then deathcore songs. All right, Ronnie, you ready to do a song where we sing about two toasters in an orgy? We haven't even done Alien Weed yet, Bishop. That's right. Alien Weed coming out tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Smoking green with the green. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still, yeah, trying, to, I'm still yeah. trying to conceptualize we'll a beat for that because, like, okay. Like, like I'm thinking, sci-fi. like, for that, like, as far as, like, the beat goes, like... Obviously, you know, like a pretty decently heavy 808, not too much filler in the middle, but I'm thinking of like more on the high end, like just some sort of bell and then like maybe like one of those like type of like one of those like <laughs> just like <laughs> super <laughs> low. Can though. you do that again? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Volume or pitch? Volume. That sounded kind of spooky. Well, no, like those like, ooh, who are you going to call? Like those, like those alien whistles. Hey, shout, out, <laughs> shout out Shout Sibolia out to Sibolia Sibolia again. For real. Last night yeah, they kicked real. that shit up, bro. But Yo. real quick, we're going to have to end this because it's part one. We already reached 30 minutes. Hey. It's crazy, Thanks right? joining us for this lovely episode of Scumcast. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode as well as like and subscribe. Don't forget to have hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of our content. Thank you for listening, you scumbags.